and the senior lecturer in economics at Bennett University. And then we'll be here from John Benjamin, who is a campaigner of Use Your Money, and he researches and campaigns on public finance and share science. And I'm Jenny, and I'm here from Red Pepper Magazine. Uh, we're an independent media project. Um, lots of volunteers and girls, so if you're interested in getting involved in these speaking messages, or maybe some more stories, then uh, there are actually lots of stores that serve a bit of a pack camp to visit them because it's really busy in the day. But I'm sure they really appreciate it if you can take a moment to drop by the screen. Mm -hmm. some follow-up speak, speaking now.
so um, this was a really so so I think it's quite complicated, but it's not really it's quite simple, and it boils down to the fact that there's no transparency and we don't know. But there has been a parliamentary this um, House committee, which is actually called the Unacceptable Paper Tax Committee. So there are quite a few parliamentary reports. So this is a report. PFI was a policy that was much lauded, um, held a great start, and now um, it's actually um, <coughs> it really doesn't stand up, and it's been heavily criticised by parliamentary committees. So the question is, why do we still have it? Well, the reason why we have it is because the policy is being exported all around the world, um, yes. to Africa, to some of the poorest countries, Uganda, Rwanda. Okay, guys, back in a minute. Back in a second. I'll just restart the stream.